Hey everybody, this is John with CruiseFever.net. We had a chance to check out the MSC Divina on a three-day cruise out of Port Miami, and we want to do a video review and tour of the ship to show you what it looks like, what kinds of things are included on the ship. So let's jump right in here. The Aqua Park has a main pool in the center and three uh, children pools going around it, kiddie pools that are about six inches deep. There's also four jacuzzis right here in this area. Uh, the entire ship has a total of about, I think it's 12 jacuzzis, including two in the Yacht Club and one in the Solarium. In this part, you have two main uh, large jacuzzis, rather, and two smaller ones down on the, the lower deck of the Aqua Park. It's a little tricky to navigate from one side to the other of the pool deck because um, of all the lawn chairs and how they have it situated, but it is very, very beautiful. Uh, they do have a, a screen there, not as large as some of the ones on the, the new Carnival 2.0 upgrade ships, but a good size screen, very bright. At nighttime, though, they pick up a lot of the lawn chairs and things, so you can't really watch it from a comfortable place. You kind of have to grab a chair from somewhere else and pull it up. Here's a nice view of the ship at nighttime. Lost Irene is one of my favorite parts of the ship. It has a spa kind of feel because it has a retractable roof that will close at nighttime or when it's raining. There are three jacuzzis there and a beautiful pool. Uh, temperature is always a little bit warmer here, so it, it was very nice on the last cruise I went on. Right above the pool there, the next deck up, there's a foosball table, a couple ping pong tables, but it's kind of tricky to go find a place to get the ping pong balls from. The water slides away from all the other pools, which is nice, so it's not congested too much there. This is a very uh, aft of the ship there, the, in the garden pool. Uh, kind of has an infinity basin there, and uh, throughout the week they'll have some water aerobics and things like that, this part of the pool. Here's one of the jacuzzis that's uh, aft of the ship as well, just one deck up from the garden pool. This is a sports arena on the MSC Divina. Uh, there's a tiny little basketball backboard you see up there, and a couple soccer goals on each side of it. The solarium does... Uh, cost $5 for half a day, $10 for a full day. You could reserve one of those um, little seating arrangements there. It's very cozy, very comfortable. There is a jacuzzi in the distance uh, there as well. Great place to relax, get away from it all. And there's the jacuzzi on the solarium, which is on deck 18. The very beautiful spa on the Divina. There's a place there in this lobby where you can get smoothies and, and uh, all kinds of juices as well as enjoy a relaxing massage. This is the relaxing, the relaxation area to get a beautiful view from outside the ship while just taking it easy, listening to some calming music. Uh, many different types of massages, including dry and oil massages. There's a Turkish bath and uh, several different kinds of steam rooms and uh, saunas there with different scents. There's a musk scent and different kinds. Um, I think they're about 130 degrees Fahrenheit when I was in this one. Right uh, next to the spa there, there's a fitness center. You can do some yoga, some yoga classes you can register for. There's also some spinning classes here, some bikes in the gymnasium. Really uh, nice gym, got a great view from up there. There's the uh, spinning class bikes. Also has some treadmills and ellipticals and uh, all kinds of machines for those of you who like to work out during your cruise, try to burn off uh, some of that awesome food. The Black Crab is one of two main dining rooms. That's a two-floor dining room. The food was um, pretty decent. I, I enjoyed it. Some at my table were iffy on the food. The menu is in five different languages, so you have to find the English one. And, and even then, a lot of Italian options that you may not recognize. So be sure to ask your waiter uh, what's all included. There's also the Via Rosa, which is the other dining room. There are basically three specialty dining restaurants, including Italy Steakhouse, one of the uh, a chain Italian restaurant. And there's also Ristorante Italia, which is more upscale. And there's the Galaxy Disco right here that we'll see. It's a la carte dining. Uh, it's on deck 15 or 16, uh, deck 16. But it's got a great view from up there. Uh, so a great place to eat uh, as an option during your cruise. There's also the sports bar where you can get some 
food, but it's not free. You have to pay extra for that. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, it's got a beautiful buffet area. Some of the dining options were a little bit limited, in my opinion, but uh, kind of an Aztec oriental feel to the decor of the buffet. They did serve a lot of hot dogs and hamburgers uh, throughout the week. I don't know if that's their way of trying to cater to American cruisers, as I recommended in a previous video on an MSC ship. Um, they were good, but uh, I'd like to see a few more options with the buffet. But all in all, it was very good. The desserts were awesome. Very good desserts on the Divina. And they have excellent pizza as well. They have that pretty much 24-7, all kinds of different pizzas. And it wasn't bad. It was a little bit thinner than I usually like. Uh, some of you guys like that thinner pizza anyway. There's some of the hamburgers and hot dogs and french fries I was talking about earlier. And uh, there's that pizza, all kinds of varieties from sausage and four cheese and everything. Here's a gelato station on the pool deck. Actually, all kinds of gelato from uh, Italian uh, gelato maker, Venci. I got a cone, and it was $4.03 with the uh, gratuities, so keep that in mind. It's not free. But there are um, ice cream stations around the ship that, that are free from 2 to 4 o'clock. Here's the casino. It's a bustling part of the ship at nighttime, blackjack tables and, and slot machines and everything else. The Pantheon Theater is a beautiful part of the ship. One of the most beautiful theaters I've seen on a cruise ship. Holds about 1,300 people, or 1,600 people, I believe. Has like an aluminum, re a good combination of the reds and grays. Wonderland was an awesome uh, production they did. Their entertainment has really stepped it up. A lot of visual... Um, displays of, of lights and the costumes are brilliant and really well done um, great music throughout uh, they also have a Michael Jackson tribute and a couple other things but their entertainment has really stepped it up a notch the La Cantina di Bianco is a place where you can taste wine or get a pizza uh, different dining options in this part of the ship has like a rustic Italian look to it really beautiful they did a great job with the Italian decor trying to tie that all in with this elegant ship There's a conference room slash library here in this part of the ship as well, if you need to have a conference or, or reserve this room for anything for your group. This is uh, another beautiful part of the ship, the uh, Piazza del Dage, I believe it's called. I'll have to correct that if that's incorrect. They have a la carte food there. They have a uh, all kinds of pastries and gelato, and there's a piano, uh, a piano bar there as well. This is the main atrium. The staircases are beautiful, studded with Swarovski crystals, actually in the steps. They have live music played every night. Um, on this cruise, they uh, started playing Christmas music halfway through the week, because it was uh, the middle of December. But a beautiful atrium. This is on decks 5, 6, and 7, showing uh, the elevators there. And on either side of that lower uh, floor there, deck 5, there's two different uh, guest service desks, which is nice to have two, so it's not too congested at one. It's another view from, from deck five, looking around. Not tacky decor at all, just really well done. Beautiful ship the MSC put together here. This is the Cyber Cafe, has 12 different workstations. Costs 60 cents every minute that you're using the internet, but it's actually really fast. I tested it and it was about six megabits per second which for a cruise ship is is just screaming. So the candy store that they have on the ship and all kinds of shopping options, as uh, we're accustomed to on cruise ships, sunglasses and watches and all kinds of things. There's one of the lounges. This is, I believe, on deck number six, right up uh, off the atrium there. The Golden Jazz Bar is a really, really cool looking uh, lounge, that orange theme going on. They have the dual piano guys playing at night, which are, they're really good. Uh, if you have a chance to check them out, really entertaining, uh, really awesome shows. They get everybody involved. And right off of that is the Sports Bar. The sports Bar has like six or seven different like stations with TVs all around them, TVs everywhere. Really awesome. Had a chance to watch some NFL games while I was there. There's also some dining options, like seven bucks for a plate with a, for a burger or mozzarella sticks. There's also a little bowling alley there, but it takes, um, it takes change. So I don't know why they don't have a card swiper there for that, but 
the black and white lounge. It's another one of their beautiful lounges uh, towards the back of the ship, or uh, aft of the ship, I should say. Again, really, really well done. Beautiful dance floor. and um, Here's the, uh, for those of you that wanted something fun to do, here's an arcade on the ship. Not really big one, but it's got some of the basics. Some racing games and Pac-Man and things like that. And right off of that, there's actually a Formula One race car that you can test out. There's some screens in front of you. The car actually moves around and everything as you're driving. Does cost extra. And the uh, this is the 4D cinema where the you'll have wind blowing in your faces, you go on a roller coaster, all kinds of different things. You have to pay extra for that as well. But something fun to do on the ship. This is the graffiti lounge for the teens. This is actually a video of uh, my room. This was an ocean view room, very spacious, a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, really nice, a great bathroom. I have another video on this room that you can uh, check out as well. This is our ship while it was in port at Nassau with a few other ships as well. It's a beautiful ship, 139,000 uh, tons, about 3,500 uh, passengers that it holds. Really well done. MSC has put together a fine ship. Some people complain about their food and the service. The food I thought was better than, than I had expected. Maybe not the level that it, that it can be. But And the service... The, it's not the people, it's just how they're being trained, and they're getting used to catering to an, a more American audience. But MSC is getting better all the time, and their rates are incredibly good, especially compared to Carnival and Norwegian. They're really trying to compete with price. So if you have a chance to check out an MSC ship, check it out. Let us know what you think about the MSC Davina. Thanks a lot.